They are with the Cheryl Burke Dance Studio out of Mountain View, and they have a great performance to the tune of Suavecito. They highlighted it at the uh, San Pablo 4th of July Festival. They're here to share it with us on Comunidad del Valle with me. Uh, here are Kenneth and Sophia with the Cheryl Burke Dance Studio. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so whose idea was it? I mean, because that's such a classic tune that 40 years later, it's still... Uh, it's you hear still it on alive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was it the... Well, my father, he's part of one of the organizers, and so he had asked me if I would want to participate. It, was, we, it started off with the Carnival Festival. Mm -hmm. That was in, in May. And then after that, did they announced like, who was going to be the king and queen for the... And then that was 4th of July, which was the Wednesday. And so we participated and... Um, I've done it before, but this time they actually requested a song, which was the Suavecito, and they asked us to do the whole song, and then so then I got a call the next day, and then I was like, yes, yes, we'll do it. And I thought I can edit because it's a six minute and like 40 second song, and that's a lot of dancing. Right. And then so for one routine, and then the next day, it was, then we were asked to do the whole song, and I went, oh, okay. It was like, well, this is like, that's a lot of material. <laughs> but that's great. We're going to show a clip. Uh, right, I know. Do you have a personal connection with that song? Well, actually, yes. Um, way back when, when the song came out, my father actually dedicated the song to my mother before they got married. So when I told my mom about this opportunity, I asked, hey, do you know the song, Suavecito? And she's like, do I know it? Why are you asking me? <laughs> You've she been reading my diary. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, of course, Papa dedicated the song to me. So well, isn't that really some, well, here it is right here, though. We're going to show you the clip in its entirety uh, later on uh, in our next segment. But uh, Kenneth, I mean, it, 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 the dance is so sensual. Describe that, that routine for us, if you will. Well, well what, what we understood is that he, well, when he was in high school, I guess it, it actually, because he wrote the song and he sang the song. Um, he, it was really pretty much about how he was in love with he was with this girl, mm -hmm. and then she pretty much broke his heart because she didn't really give him time. It's almost like he didn't exist. So that's why. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's actually not a sad song. It actually showcases a lot of love. Right. And so that's what the that's what our interpretation of the whole routine did. And we have outside coaches, and we do training, and so part of our own interpretation of the whole music. It, putting it together was trying to follow along with the lines and especially when we found out that he was going to sing it live mm -hmm. I was like okay any more pressure <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and how much in sync do, do both of you have to be to make this work you know not, not only for this routine but but all the other ones um, you know well it's basically uh, sharing the same passion drive and connecting to the meaning of the song, but also connecting uh, two people together to represent uh, art and expression of creativity. So just like with any art form, but this one is in particular because all the senses are involved, right? And you're sharing the experience with everyone else on a auditory level, visual, emotional level. So it's not only something that we experience, but through our dancing, we can affect so many other people too. You know, it's like recreating, uh, our goal was to try to recreate uh, of a fantasy that he what this whole song was about because he never actually was able to get that girl and that's right. what he announced he's never mentioned her name either he just no he, no, he <laughs> never mentioned the name at all no no he didn't <laughs> so and I mean this is this what folks can for instance those of us who have two left feet as mm -hmm. you clarified for mm -hmm. me. Uh, can you get rid of one of the left uh, feet Definitely. at the Sherbrooke Dance Studio? Yes, yes. Time and practice. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people like that come in. And basically, it's, it's something for everyone to enjoy. You know, n there's not a person that's not able to try it out and make it work for them. Are you feeling it when, when, you're, when you're doing uh, your dance? Uh, are you feeling it, uh, feeling the words, the lyrics? Absolutely. And then when you're looking at Sophia? That's what drives you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like me, I'm big on music, so it's like if I, if me, if you play a really beautiful song and it has to do with any style of dancing, you know, and then that's what drives me, that's what directs me in as far as where I move on the floor, you know, and if you put on something that just doesn't touch my heart or anything like that, it's almost like it's fake. Mm -hmm. So. Do you ever think that whenever he's dancing, saying, oh my God, I can't believe he did two spins instead of one or anything like that? No, <laughs> no actually, you're right, guys, in sync, I you guess. know, it's very intuitive. When mm -hmm. you start dancing, you start almost feeling the same thing. And it's a different experience dancing with different people, of course. So, you know, depending on who you share that experience, mm -hmm. you know, differs. That's true. But um, usually you're so in tune into the music and you're feeling the same thing we're portraying 
you know, something in particular mm -hmm. and evoking that. And you both choreographed this, and how long did it take you to kind of perfect it? We, um, we spent less than a month. Wow. Yeah, no, so it was crash course, so. <laughs> and then you, this is something you'll take on on the road. I mean, yeah, we want yeah. to okay. represent this again. At, like we have a showcase on August 25th at Mountain View at the Shoreline 1400 Shoreline, and we're going to do a. We Ooh. have a showcase that, so it's going to be a lot of performances that day. So nice. we, hopefully we can bring that back. Well, good we luck uh, th there with the uh, Cheryl Burke Dance Studio. There is the web address for uh, more information and also a, a direct phone number. So give them a call. Maybe you can dance as well as they do at some point if you have two left feet. So turn <laughs> the left one to the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much. We're going to sit with us. We're going to enjoy uh, the entire performance, uh, your choreography to Suavecito. Stay with us. All right, here is our address for next week's Saludo. There's my uh, Twitter handle, at News Damien. Drop us a line. Let us know how you're feeling. If you have any suggestions for the show, we thank you for being a part of our Sunday once again. And we want to mention also that Kenneth and Sophia are not only dancers, performers, but they are also instructors at the Cheryl Brooke Dance Studio. Now here is their tune, their choreography. This one is
Here on your guard.